back to Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. Driving with my son Mario yesterday, we went to the arcade mm-hmm. over at uh, Velocity Town yeah. Square. The former game works fun, by the way. Yeah, really good time. Colin was at piano. So Mario, for the first time ever, got to just pick whatever games he wanted for an hour yeah. versus having to go back and forth with mm-hmm. his brother. And uh, we're driving back, if you know Buffalo, right near the crossing area. Uh, see uh, a random intersection, and I see a bouncing backpack and a razor scooter right in the middle. Oh, gosh. Of the, I'm like, is there a child that's on somebody's yeah, hood yeah, right yeah. now? Like, what right. is happened? And I looked just ahead, and there was an SUV, and the hatch was open a little bit. Mm, mm, mm. And there's another razor scooter in a bag hanging out of it. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> this is terrible. So I, Sean Tempesta, hero among men, mm-hmm. <laughs> did what I had to do and drove exactly the speed limit. 35 miles an hour <laughs> and not a single mile per hour faster to be able to warn the driver of this car. Yo, it's You're open. losing all your stuff. High beam, high beam, high beam, high beam, high beam. And it, I didn't get shot, which is great. Mm-hmm. Eventually caught up with the person right at the first traffic circle there. And there's a woman and the daughter. And I'm like, hey, uh, just a heads up. There's a backpack and a Razor scooter mm-hmm. in the last intersection. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Oh, what? I'm like, yeah, your your trunk is open right now. Oh. So then she doesn't like pull over immediately. She still does the traffic circle. Like it's open and mm-hmm. you're probably going to lose another backpack if you <laughs> right, keep going. Right. But she eventually does turn around and head back the other way. And I felt like I did something. I felt like I did something. I've, I've tried to save people in the past. It has not worked out as well as this one did. She did take my warning. She didn't feel like I was trying to kill her. Mm-hmm. The last time I saw clothing on the back of someone's trunk and I was trying to catch up, I'm like, there's clothes on the back. And she sped up. She thought I was trying to yeah, kill yeah. her. Well, it reminds me of planes, trains, and automobiles when uh, um, they're yelling, you're going the wrong way. And he keeps waving like, oh, they must be drunk. Oh, my. He's like, you're going to kill somebody. They're going the wrong way on the freeway. Oh, and it was, <laughs> He just kept driving along. It's I, the best part of planes, trains, and automobiles ever, ever, ever. I have not seen plane, trains, and automobiles. It's really good. Oh, is that was uh, John Candy, mm-hmm. Steve Martin? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the so, previews for it. It looks fantastic. It's so, so good. It's such a such a great movie. But yeah, that that's one of the the best scenes is uh, uh, John Candy is driving and they're on the wrong side of the freeway. They're driving the wrong way. Yeah. And uh, and and Steve Martin's sleeping and he wakes up and he realizes that the people next to him are like, you're going to hit. A, it's just such a great moment. Uh, such a great moment. But I saw somebody just on Lake Cheyenne like maybe a week or two two ago and they had they were coming out of the Starbucks on Cheyenne in 215 and they had the Starbucks on their on their car so they must have gone in oh. to get it and then when they're putting stuff in the car it was on top and they pulled off and I was like that's gonna ruin their day it's <laughs> literally going to ruin their day and I truly felt bad I was like oh gosh honk the horn a little bit they're getting on the freeway I guess I'll just move so the coffee doesn't hit my car right after it flies off theirs but it was so <laughs> sad I just know that like they want you know they're like I can't wait to have this Starbucks because I think 50% of, it, of of getting a coffee when you're like going to a drive through is that's the good happy part is going to get, you're like, God, just the act of getting the, the coffee. act of getting the coffee yeah. and then you can't even sip it. So I just felt so bad for him and that I couldn't do nothing. I could do nothing. I got dinner last night at Denny's. I just mm-hmm. felt like having breakfast for dinner mm-hmm. and I dropped dinner. I, I picked up the last piece of bacon. I was going to eat it and it missed my mouth mm-hmm. and it hit the floor. And I was so heartbroken. Yeah. Yep. I know. <laughs> I saved that piece of bacon. Yeah. Do like, do slow motion. I just felt it like hit both of my legs, and then yeah. just I'm like, no. <laughs> right. Have you, Have you ever saved someone from a uh, awkward situation like that, especially on the road? But whatever the case, seven zero two five nine seven one zero two seven. It's it's the it's the risk reward. We've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. When you high beam someone, there is the risk that they will try to shoot you. Uh huh. Facts. <laughs> murder. <laughs> Because of that scary movie. Every day on Durango, every night on Durango, I see someone driving without their lights on, and I just can't do it. You know, you remember those like the, 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 they still sell them, the little scrollable like ticker, red mm-hmm. ticker things. I want to put one in my back window 
with just preset buttons. I just want to be able to have like one of 10 presets. Turn on your lights. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you have a flat. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> your child's razor scooter is in the last bit. <laughs> just to have it scroll so you can see. Like, this is not yeah. just me flashing it. Like, there's yes. more to this. This is a PSA. All right, folks. <laughs> uh, intercom. Are, is, is, are you allowed to just have like a, you know? I'm assuming probably yes. I don't know. I, I, I just don't know how it works. I don't want to run afoul of Metro. Be like, a, hey, you. You and Alexis, turn on your lights, you dummy. <laughs> I just, I don't want to, I don't want to die, but I also right. don't want them to die. I like the scroll. That's what it should be. That's the move. I'm yep. telling you. And I can put a whole bunch of other presets as well. <laughs> that could probably get me shot. <laughs> all right. We've all wanted to say something. Going down the 15 freeway and a guy had four ladders on top of, the, of his roof. Oh, no. And two of them were sliding off. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, no. Yeah, so I had to wave at him and wave at him and tell him. And so did, did he finally pull over? It was probably like a while because we're in traffic. But, I mean, it took him time to get over. But, yeah, eventually he pulled over. But I was, like, so scared because I was scared of those two ladders falling off. I'm telling you, man, traffic. every time I see one of those uh, those work vehicles with a whole bunch of stuff in there, like the landscape vehicles, and they got like a mower, like one strap on it. Like, yeah, that strap's I know. Precarious. Come on, guys. Or it's like a shoelace. You're like, that's not working. <laughs> Bro, where's OSHA? <laughs>